what's going on you guys how's it going welcome back to another video today's video is definitely inspired by the live stream i did on twisted wrister hockey's youtube channel for whatever reason nick's channel name is the hardest thing for me to pronounce like you guys probably saw it in my announcement video that i did the other day when i talked about it i just can't pronounce it for the life of me did all right there but today's video is definitely inspired from that he ended up making us do a list if you guys didn't go check out the live stream first of all I'm, that's very unfortunate because it was a lot of fun. There was like six of us in there. We were just talking Jersey concepts. That was, I don't want to forget anyone. So I'm not going to, well, maybe I can name everyone. Let's see how my memory works. There was Nick from Twisted Wrister. There was Jake. Then there was Nick from Windy City Hockey, the Jersey Zone and Larry NHL Hockey and myself. Hey, I did pretty good at remembering who was all there. It was a lot of fun. I, it's unfortunate if you guys didn't tune in, but what he ended up, Nick ended up asking us to do was write down a list of our favorite NHL Adidas jerseys that are kind of newer. So that was a favorite home, away, winter classic stadium, and both reverse retros. So I'm going to be doing that here in this video, but I'm not limiting myself to just newer jerseys. I'm talking just all Adidas jerseys that came out. They don't have to be new designs. I also have some kind of newish categories and other categories that I'm also going to talk about in this video that we did not have to do for uh, Nick's video or for his live stream. Sorry, you guys will be seeing if you guys did tune into live stream, you will be seeing some different kind of answers here as well as some different uh, categories which I think will be really fun but of course this is kind of like a almost like a farewell even though we still have a whole season of Adidas Adidas is done at the end of this NHL season so this is kind of almost a farewell and like a just a, a good celebratory way to go into the last season of Adidas making jerseys let's talk about my favorites and potentially some least favorites and of course, before we get into it, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed. I am so excited for hockey to start, man. I think about it every single day. I wake up and I'm just so pumped for the NHL to start again. I, I can't wait. Let's talk about my favorite home jersey, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to list you guys a couple honorable mentions that just don't unfortunately make this list and probably could. And first off, we got the Minnesota Wild in the live stream with Nick. I think multiple people, I don't remember exactly who it was because there were six of us on there, but a couple people did pick Minnesota. I do think Minnesota has a fantastic home jersey. I think their home jersey is miles, leagues above their away jersey. I don't. I think their away jersey is like maybe a bottom 10. Their home jersey is a top three. Like this thing is great. I also threw in the St. Louis Blues who I think have a phenomenal home jersey. I think the shoulders look great on that jersey. The numbers look great on that jersey and the logo looks good on it as well. I just think all in all the St. Louis Blues has a really good home jersey. And then my favorite Adidas home jersey in the NHL is the Colorado Avalanche. Strictly due to the colors, man. Like those are my two favorite colors just in general. The blue and burgundy, those are my two favorites. And I think they just look so good together. The striping is super unique to the NHL. It's definitely a Colorado Avalanche striping. You could put any colors with those stripes and you're going to think of Colorado even though the colors don't correlate with the avalanche. It's just how good that striping is and how just cemented that striping is into Colorado's kind of legacy now. It's just all you think of. It's a beautiful jersey. Now let's hop into away jerseys. Now we're going to be listing my favorites here and let's go off with the New York Rangers as one of my favorite away jerseys. I do not have this in my collection and it's a shame because this thing is amazing. Everything from the shoulders to the diagonal text logo that the Rangers use that I love so much to the striping. It's just an all around beautiful simple clean away jersey and then going into another honorable mention now these aren't like in any order these honorable mentions but this team used to have my favorite away jersey and that is the florida panthers this was, had an away jersey the florida panthers away jersey was a jersey i wanted in my collection for such a long time and i wanted so badly and i just had such a hard time finding it and then i found it but then it got overtook by what is currently my favorite away jersey, and that is the Carolina Hurricanes. You guys know me. I've said this like in every second video, pretty much, I talk about this, but I love text logos. I just love them so much. And the Canes text, I think, is sweet. I love the C for the Canes text. And I like the striping. The striping's super simple. What I like about it is the pattern on the torso. It's not super apparent that it's there. It's like blended in because the squares are lighter red than the background. And it's just like kind of subtle. And I like that. 
Let's go into my favorite winter classics and one of my honorable mentions is the Chicago Blackhawks. I do have the jersey in my collection. It's probably my favorite Chicago Blackhawks jersey that is out currently in Adidas. I think the thing's absolutely perfect. I love the jersey. I know it is just black and white and people read the Kings out, for example, for having just like monotone jerseys, but holy, did Chicago do a black and white jersey well? Coming at number two is the New York Rangers. I think this is such a clean jersey. I know it's not super different from their current home jersey, but the colors are, and that Rangers font on the front of the jersey is fantastic. I really like that. I think if they use something like that on their current home and away jersey, it would be an upgrade personally. And then coming in at number one, this is going to be a hot take to some people. It is the Dallas Stars. I love that Dallas Stars Winter Classic. I want that thing in my collection so bad. It's one of like the hidden gems in my collection that I just really, really want. I think the thing is awesome. Again, it comes back to text logos. You will start to see kind of a trend here. I think the text logo is great. And then you have the D outlining the stars I and the patch. There's a patch in the arm. That looks great. It's just a nice jersey. Let's hop into stadium series. I have one honorable mention for this, and that is the LA Kings kind of really going all out here on a stadium series jersey, and I kind of like it. I think it's a very underrated stadium series jersey that Adidas has come out with. They have come out with a few jerseys like this where it's kind of just really outgoing. I mean, you can think recently to the Washington Capitals. You can even think to the uh, Colorado Avalanche. But I just think the LA Kings here did it right. I think the logo is good. I like the logo going down on the same kind of diagonal as the stripe. I think that's sweet as well. And coming into number one, you guys should already know this. To me, it is the Tampa Bay Lightning. I absolutely love that Tampa Bay Lightning Stadium Series. And it is a top three it's a top five, maybe even top three jersey in my collection in total. I love it. Like, sure, the torso striping with the bolt is fantastic. Like, I'm not even going to deny that. It's fantastic. But to top it off, the bolt's text, in my opinion, is sweet. I like the text, the design, sorry, that they used in it, where you can even see it looks like lightning in a sense. I think it's fantastic. Let's go to alternate jerseys. And... One of my honorable mentions here, this might be a bit of a hot take, is the Tampa Bay Lightning alternate jersey, their old black one that they used that kind of had that flaky kind of gradient. I think this thing was sweet, man. I think this thing was an awesome alternate for the Tampa Bay Lightning. I think the logo being that kind of silver metallic almost looking color was sweet. I think the, the subtle, very subtle gradient that they had from that gray to the black was just super cool. I think it's just a clean jersey and it's, it's kind of unique looking. Another honorable mention, I won't talk about this very long, is the Vancouver Canucks new black skate. I mean, not to toot my team's horn, but I think that jersey is phenomenal. And then my favorite alternate jersey that Adidas created is the Dallas Stars. This lime green bright neon jersey is spectacular. It is so cool. Such a cool jersey. I mean, thumbs up for that. Okay, we're going to breeze through these because we've talked about reverse retros to the ground on this channel. So I'm just going to give you my favorites. And from reverse retro one, it is the Arizona Coyotes. I think that is a no brainer. I think you guys already know that from me. That's a jersey I traded my Washington Capitals reverse retro one for. So I absolutely love it. And then coming in from the reverse retro two series, I think it is the Washington Capitals, which I think it's a toss up between them. Uh, LA and maybe Dallas, but I'm going to give it to Washington. I love that jersey. Let's go on to the most unique jersey. Now, in my opinion, this is a jersey that Adidas has created themselves. So I'm not talking reverse retros with designs and stuff. And this might be a bit of a hot take, but I'm going to go to the Vegas Golden Knights reverse retro too. I know I just said we're not counting reverse retros, but what I meant by that is we're not counting like Arizona's funky. We're not counting the Boston Bruins. We're not counting Tampa Bay's like those kind of funky jerseys. But I'm, I'm saying the Vegas Golden Knights Reverse Retro 2 as the most unique jersey simply because it glows in the dark. That is something that we just haven't seen and Adidas has never done until this year. And I mean, uniqueness, for sure, that is unique. Come on, like a glow in the dark jersey. I'm hoping that kind of inspires future designs. I could see teams like the Dallas Stars implementing kind of a glow in the dark 
design into their jerseys i think that would be so sick imagine just stars all around their jerseys when it's dark for warm up and then when the lights come on you just can't see it that would just be so cool i definitely think the vegas golden knights reverse retro 2 is extremely unique so now this category is called leave it in the past and essentially i'm taking one jersey that adidas has brought back so it could be from reverse retros it could be home and away jerseys like calgary's for example are uh, retro jerseys brought back as home and aways there's also some home and away jerseys just in the league in general that adidas kind of made following recent years so one of the jerseys that i'm going to talk about or at least my i think top of my list for leave it in the past and this is going to be a hot take is the arizona coyotes away jersey i think this thing just needed to die in the past i'm going to be honest this thing should not be around 24 7 this should not be a full-time away jersey i just don't like it and then i'm going to talk about a team in the nhl that i think overall had the best jerseys just overall and in my opinion this does toot my team's horn a little bit but i'm going to go the vancouver canucks man i think the vancouver canucks have had the best set of adidas jerseys i don't think they've come out with a bad jersey they've come out with a lot of jerseys which i think also adds to it you could say teams like detroit might be there but the reverse retro suck you could say teams like colorado but colorado realistically hasn't had a ton of jerseys they've had one alternate this whole time sure they've had a stadium series they've had the two reverse retros the canucks have had multiple alternates honestly three alternates all of which in my opinion are not bad the two reverse retros home and aways two sets of home and aways one with the canucks text i would argue that the vancouver text home and away jerseys that they had in their first year is probably not the best although the jersey design itself isn't bad because it's the same as what they have now it's just the text that ruins it and some people maybe don't like the green and blue alternate that they had but i actually don't mind that thing i have that in my collection it's a lot nicer in person and the customization on that jersey is fantastic as well so there you guys have it, all right? I did this live stream on Nick's channel and I really just wanted to bring it to you guys in a sense and give you guys my answers since you may not have had the chance to go watch that live stream. I feel like this is just an opportunity for you guys to see what my answers were. And I thought it would still be a fun uh, video and leave some good conversations down in the comments. Let me know what you guys agree with, what you disagree with. You can even leave me your list if you would like as well. That'd be really cool. You could type it out while I was doing it. That'd be sweet. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.